So, to get started. I think I want to start with the ground. This is going to be so hard for me to do because I'm just bad. We'll see how it looks. <laughs> Just hoping I could do this. All right, let's group it up. And there's our path. Okay. Do we? Should we do anything else to it? Because like, once I start copy pasting, like you can't go back from that. Um. I don't know. Let's just see how it looks when we copy paste. Now we would make the border. So we'd have one, but we have to do it on all sides. We have just this, and we'd have uh, this plus this corner, and then we'd have just this, and then we have this plus this corner, and then we have, you know, and we can copy paste a little bit to kind of make it easier, but I feel like that's what we kind of have to do. <clears throat> um, Cause like there's edges to the, pathways and the edges make it so that it'll flush be more flush with like grass and stuff um so it probably makes the most sense to do that out really well all right now we have some foundation to work with here <clears throat> now we have to do the grass oh boy grass should be fun um <clears throat> grass should be fun Because of the tile set, this shouldn't be that hard to go in and kind of like build the rest of. But then we have to start building the buildings and the trees and all the little odds and ends. Like there's a little flower box and like the buildings take a long time. We did all we did this, but a building might take just as long. It's like cut out a perfect circle.
so we have... I mean, I can start on the cliff side, because there's going to be a cliff side that runs right here. Like a like a yellowish glow. We didn't do anything with the scene other than sculpting. I mean, what do you mean? Like, you know, you gonna mix the game in the game? <laughs> um, right now I'm just, I'm, I'm sculpting. Um, I think like, I wouldn't do anything until, I wouldn't make any decisions of what I do next until I, you know, recreate this map. Which, in itself, is a huge task. Interactivity. Yeah, I mean, the, the the initial end goal would just be you can walk around in it, right? And there'd be lots of, like, we can do lots of, like, cool lighting effects and, you know, stuff like that. To make it look really cool, but it'd just be, like, something to look around in. Let's go into play mode. <laughs> it's not much to... We don't even, we haven't set the lighting or anything. So, I should really finish the tile set. <clears throat> we only have like half a tile set. Because, like, now we need to have a stone on this end. And we need to combine this one with this one. But the funny thing is... <clears throat> I can just stack these on top of each other. And then I don't need to actually make the whole tile set. Because <laughs> it allows... It's stacking just fine. <laughs> Which I think is really funny. Space for the saloon here. We have the space for Piers and the uh, hospital clinic, and I think that everything is scaled fairly good. Um, we don't have the town center circular thing going on. How would I want to do that? I mean, if you're talking about the centerpiece, it's just because I got lazy, I didn't want to finish. All right, let's start up this uh, hospital. How are we gonna get this started? We turn on the grid.
Okay, so wait, I have a problem with this. I did this as like a shape, but I'm gonna need like paint this and I guess I can just use this as the base and then add stuff on top of it. Yeah, that actually will work fine. That's fine. Um, okay. It'd also be cool to add, like, some wood grain effect or some shit. It should be, like... Are you going to be able to go into the building, though? I mean, the size of the... The puppet will fit in the building. Because we'll just scale it down a little bit. Um, but as far as going inside of it and putting stuff inside, yes. But you have a load zone. But, streamer, why didn't you just make this building really big so you can fit everything inside it so you can just walk right in? Well... I would do that if Stardew had scaled its game to that, but they didn't. And the reason they didn't is because, like, no fucking video game does that. <laughs> especially older games, and especially 2D games. And the only time you have, like, 2D games where the buildings are actually scaled properly is when it's, like, Final Fantasy... Old Final Fantasy games where they have castles, and they walk into the castle, and then you're, like, inside it. But the castles are so big, you can't even see the guy in the castle. It's a 2D game. Never mind. Yeah, I know. Y you understand now. You understand. It just, it doesn't work. You just have to have load screens because you can't, uh, a lot of video games, you just, it's not how it goes. But this is turning out. Now we just need to do the, uh, roof. I think I'm just gonna do it tile by tile. <laughs> I'm not joking.
angle works. Pull it out a little bit more with a precise move. Kind of did it. I mean, I'm happy I was able to do this, but it's still not really that good. Like, I haven't done the dwarf room yet, obviously. But I don't know. It seems very uninspired to me. That's fine. Just leave it. All right. It's a paint. Okay. We made a fucking building. That took... Uh... Did this really take me three hours? I'm gonna go with yes. <laughs> like two and a half hours. <laughs> it took me two and a half hours. I mean, we did it. <laughs> so. Play mode. You wanna see it in play mode? Got it. I think I, I don't like how there's three windows on the side. I think that's a little overkill. And the dummy's too big. We'll size him down slightly. It's totally fine. You just size him down a little bit. In fact, I think the size of the dummy is is fine it's more the um or sorry the size of the building compared to the dummy is fine for what stardew is like the size of the character compared to the size of the building for what stardew is i think it's fine but this door is just not tall this is a little bit not tall enough but let me just size down our character very slightly 